Drew Cuff coming near side and hits his receiver. That is Devin Allen, the U.S. Olympian. Rep contribution. Freeman with his first touch. And it's a good one. Rumbling forward for the Oregon first. At least as far as Eugene, Oregon. I like that. Rolls Royce. Can I borrow that? You can. He's rolling again. He'll get a very nice four or five yards here on the first down. Getting Ter Terrell Crosby and Cameron Hunt back in that offensive line is certainly going to help him also. Near side, incomplete, in and out of the hands of Charles. Now here's the ball. So third down here for the Ducks. Pressure. Broke up. Blocked. As he tried to drum, dump it in, that ball is bouncing around. They're signaling incomplete, and it'll bring up fourth down. Green play, and Davis had, uh, Davis, excuse me, Oregon had put a lot of screens in this week, but too much pressure right in his face just wasn't allowing him to get the screen off. Most screens can be stopped. They're outside the 20-yard line. Don't expect them to kick the field goal. Here's Rolls-Royce. Now, that is vintage Royce Freeman. Almost stopped in the battle. A lot of moral victories, but moving the ball is going to help fire up that offense. Here comes Freeman again. Out to midfield before he's wrestled to the ground. This is all the attributes you want for a great running back. Cup throws it outside. That's Darren Carrington. He'll get some good first down yardage. Line and their own goal line creeping up on their backs. Here's Cup to throw near side. Has a receiver. That's Nelson. Keep him very close to you so you can get a hold of him when he gets the ball. Wide open receiver. Running for the end zone. Farrell Brown, does he get there? No, they'll say he's down at the two. Quarterback, Dakota Prukop. And gets the ball, headed for the goal line. And into the end zone for the duck touchdown. Eight. They'll dump near side a little short of Darren Carrington. And incomplete. Here's Freeman. Made something out of that. Got about five out of it when there wasn't much there at the line. leading to what Coach Lubick told us yesterday. He's broke up to throw. Gets hit. Spins away. Heaves it downfield. Has a receiver there, and it's caught. 20%. So we'll see if the Ducks are able to overcome those odds on this drive after the penalty. Near side. Here's Freeman. Got room. Out of bounds, just at the 10-yard line. Royce Freeman. Mark Helfrich said good hands. Freeman is an excellent pass receiver. Doesn't get much on that one. Stacked up by Dante Wilkins, one for the a step back from the line of scrimmage. This side, it's Tony Brooks-James with the Oregon touchdown. All at their own 20. After the punt into the end zone, Dakota Prukop will get dropped. Stephen Wright got in there, number 20. Will scramble it on the Cavs defense here. And here comes Freeman. Zach Bradshaw knocks him down, but he's out to the 25. Made up. He motions away. Prukop keeps. He'll get the first down, lunging to the marker. Quickly, as that tempo offense already is. Here's the throw to the outside, knocked away. And as Oregon would tell you on the last drive. Prukop. Throws it away as he's being wrestled to the ground. Get a stop on third and ten. Into the hands of Farrell Brown. He'll be close, but he'll be shy of first down yard. And gives the Ducks a fresh set of downs, and Royce Freeman tries to make him pay. He'll be across the 40, down to about the 38 before Stephen Wright. And he'll add more to his total here. Plus, I believe that probably puts him over 100 yards on the night, at least at this point. We've got to keep. He'll slide down. At the 20. His defense has been on the field a long time now. Going the other way. Kanai Benoit will be inside the 20. Well, these Ducks have a hole. And here's Farrell Brown. But what a story Brown is to see him catching passes. Remember a couple of years ago, to action for the first time last week, and he is so happy to be playing football. And listen to the roar. Nothing going there for Freeman. Wrapped up and knocked down by Stephen Wright, whose another long field goal is a 47-yarder. Downfield looking for Carrington. Did he catch it? They say yes. Freeman. 
chase to the sideline and run out of bounds by the same Miles Robinson. Throws over the middle. Carrington has it down to the 10 yard line. Once again, knocked down by Robinson. A side trip receivers low. Freeman gets the handoff into the line. And will get bent backwards at about the seven yard line. Good enough to. Kukup with time and a receiver knocked away from Devin Allen. Juan Thornhill got a hit cutting. There's something he had to relearn football skills wise. Freeman taken out of bounds at the one. Clocks. Prukop pulls it back out, but he's wrapped up in the backfield. Jordan Mack, the true freshman linebacker, makes the read and makes the 